How to undo a bank reconciliation in QuickBooks Online. Hey everyone, this is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. Check us out at qbuniversity.org where I personally answer your QuickBooks questions when you become a member. All right, so here we are in the home screen. This is the sample company file. And um, this video is a little bit, I say bittersweet because uh, for some reason QuickBooks Online does not give the ability to, I say, everyday users to just undo a previous bank reconciliation. You can do it in QuickBooks Desktop. You cannot do it in QuickBooks Online. If you have the QuickBooks Online accountant version, which uh, we have at our firm, uh, because we work with numerous clients and their QuickBooks accounts, there is an undo option. And I believe there used to be an undo option, but for some reason they took it away. So I'm gonna show you how to undo a previous bank reconciliation um, by hand if you don't have the account version. All right, and it's fairly tedious. All right, so first of all, let's go to the chart of accounts and we're going to go to the bank register. So normally when you go to reconcile up here and you reconcile the checking account, you get through the reconciliation, it's done, you can view the report, you can print it, and that's about it. Now, in this case, if you need to go back and undo one, now hopefully it's not like six months prior uh, because it's gonna take you a while. So if you go to view register for the account that you wanna do this to, you're going to pull up the check register and then literally what you're gonna have to do is click right here where it says R this means reconciled. Click it and it goes blank. All right, click it again and it says C, which means cleared, R, reconciled, and blank means neither. All right, so you're gonna save this and it says the transaction you're edited linked to others. You sure wanna modify it? Yes, and it also has been reconciled, so it's gonna mess up your reconciliation. Yes, all right you have to go through and do this for every transaction that you want to undo in a previous reconciliation so that you can go back and re-reconcile that month. It is very laborious and very tedious. So if you do work with an accountant or a CPA and they have access to your QuickBooks file, then have them log in and they can undo a reconciliation for you. It's gonna save you save you a ton of time. All right, any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below and I will see you in another video.